The following segment is a tribute to the late, great Loretta Lynn. In case you didn't know, Port Arthur's David Varnardo is her former fiddle player. Here's David's longtime friend and colleague, Jesse Doming, recalling the first time he saw Varnardo performing with Loretta Lynn on television. I found that he had wound up in Nashville, and I went back to work in the oil field. And we had satellite TV uh, about 120 miles out in the Gulf, and Saturday night I always stayed up to watch the Grand Ole Opry. And I'd always go outside and make a round because I had engines that were running and I had temperatures and everything to check. Right. And I came back up the stairs and Loretta Lynn was singing. And all of a sudden, that's my boy with his tough seat on, man, and he's getting down after me, man. You know? <laughs> so I woke up everybody on the platform. Y'all come see, y'all come see, y'all come see. Mm -hmm. You know? So everybody came in the TV room. Well, what's the matter? I said, shut up and listen. You know, just shut up and listen. This is my half a suit that I wore with Loretta Lynn, touring with, on the Grand Ole Opry with. I recently spoke with David on King's Country about his time working with the former queen of country. But Loretta Lynn, one of the, I would say probably one of the best bosses that I've ever had that cared about me and cared about my family. And uh, she was the reason that me and my wife packed up here in Beaumont, Texas and, and moved to Nashville and uh, to, to start a life. And she definitely helped us do that. What a great lady. Loretta Lynn, Johnny Paycheck, both, they paved the way for me. Um, when you, you go mention that you played for Johnny Paycheck, who was a side guy for George Jones and so many others, Ray Price, and you mentioned that you played for Loretta Lynn or you played for Loretta Lynn, it got me so much work on the side from uh, work that we didn't have on a weekend that I went out with Tanya Tucker and so forth. So it was definitely a stepping stone for me, if it's a light way to put it. Loretta Lynn, again, she's gone at age 90. Uh, you got to know her pretty well. What kind of person was she? An absolute wonderful, wonderful. Loretta loved everybody. I, I will tell you this. Loretta was the type of person she in really and truly liked making people laugh. She was a funny, funny, her kids were all funny. Um, she liked making people laugh. She liked uh, telling jokes and uh, anything that would come across that she could get a laugh out of somebody um, and make them feel at home. I, I appreciate you having me on your show, Jim. I, I, I've got such great fond memories of Nashville and definitely Loretta Lynn playing for her, playing fiddle for her is, um, is going to be etched in my mind forever, and uh, she will definitely be missed. And the butchers won out. What was your immediate feeling when you heard the news? Heart broke. Truly, truly heart broke. Dina, my wife, had, uh, had gave me a call to tell me that, that she had passed away, and I immediately called uh, one of the twins mm -hmm. uh, and, and talked to them. And I'm... I'm sad about it, but let me say this to you. Uh, she lived to be 90 years old. My gosh, that's a, that's a long life. King of the Road. Here comes this week's Honky Tonk Texas fabulous flashback. King of the Road. That was this week's Honky Tonk Texas fabulous flashback. Since 2008, Honky Tonk Texas and Silsby Texas has featured a steady stream of the very best in local, regional, and national touring bands. Pack up your posse and boot scoot over to Honky Tonk Texas for great concerts, dancing, drinking, and dining. Of course, steak night is every Thursday, and don't forget about the Honky Tonk Grill. Visit them online at facebook.com slash honkytonktx and at honkytonktexas.us. Honky Tonk Texas and Silsby has been entertaining Southeast Texas since 2008. Where have you been?